of property tax. Thank you. I just remembered. <laughs> so, so like if you look at the top here, so we budgeted, you know, 361,138 that we would get in taxes. Yeah. And we only got 244,000. Right. So, you know, that right there starts a deficit. Right. Um, and then this. Can you figure out what 100% oh, yeah. tax paying is? Well, is it, that would be that 360. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, if yeah we, that is 100%. Yeah, if everybody paid, we should have that left in after I give the school theirs. But in the end, as long as the, the delinquent taxes recovery is fairly consistent year to year, it always works out. Yeah, yeah. And it sounds like, um, you know, the, the, the store getting sold and hopefully paying their delinquent taxes mm -hmm. and, um, you know, some of the ones that are hanging. There's, Winters out over on Gilly, he's got a balance that he's taken care of and salt. And I don't know if anyone will ever buy salsa tax sale. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> I mean that one's got like six years worth of really. But it's not a lot. It's like their taxes are like three hundred and some odd dollars a year. But it's adding up after. Yeah. Well three M6 is eighteen, it's just eighteen hundred dollars. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. Hmm. yeah, I was just wondering how, because we don't generally budget thinking like we have this pot of money to work with. It's more like if we if we do everything we need to for the town, that's how much we have to raise. Yeah. <clears throat> and then when we set the tax rate, we set the tax rate with that, with this amount yeah. in mind. Mm -hmm. And then we hope and pray right. that <laughs> everyone will pay. Mm -hmm. and then, yeah <laughs> and then for the entire month of november and december people are telling me how terrible it is but so, i noticed they didn't pay and then were you here the other night when no you weren't in the hard book right. was that, right. so how where's that going to show up in our so right now we have an actual fund, ARPA fund. called ARPA where that money sits until we use it. Do you think that we should try to retain someone else to keep track of that money and where it went and all that stuff? Or do you think you and Mariah can do it? I mean, I don't know. It sounds to me like a lot of paperwork. As far as the grant, that's a Mariah question as far as keeping track of the grant. I mean, as long as we know how we're spending it. Because they said, you know, you have to have something in the board minute, you have to have this, you have to have that. Well, I think it's, it's very similar to like, um, you know, you have to have, it has to be on a warrant that you guys the funds it has to go like we any money we would spend it has to you know go through a warrant and that whole process we can't just say oh it's arpa i'll just send a check to him tomorrow but the thing <laughs> that scared me the most was you've got to make sure it's arpa approved before you actually spend well it. so this and right. this is why it's because there's so many right um, i started in the slot board chair in brookfield the other day and and he said man he said there's so many stipulations yeah there. So we don't have a sewer plant. We don't right. have a water plant. Most of the world towns um, don't. No. And for our side right. thing. Right. So we're, we're probably going to get some ditching done. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. You know. A lot of mass. <laughs> yeah. And that's okay with I, me. I was kind of thinking that for as far as the ARPA stuff, I think that that Sarah will be like very helpful. So I think between Becky and I. I should be able to, we should be able to come up with some sort of spreadsheet of how we document what we use. And then, you know, like she said, we have to keep it in the minutes. I keep pretty thorough minutes. So I don't think that should be an issue. Um, and then I, I think that 
maybe it'll depend on when you guys want to do it. I mean, she said we have quite a few years before we really have to spend it, which I know those will go by quickly, but it's not like we have to do it within the next six months. But if everybody kind of thinks about what, what they would need, you know, that might fall under COVID ARPA funds, and then maybe we could have a whole special meeting where Sarah could come back, we could present these ideas to her, she could kind of go through them and we could just have really one meeting devoted just to what we wanted to spend the money on and kind of, you know, then then the town could come and like she said, have town input and that type of thing as well. I was gonna say, cause I think, I think we should have an idea of how we wanna spend it. I know Brenda has it already all spent. Yeah. <laughs> And then, never mind, we've know. already spent that. And I don't know how, how, you know, like <laughs> given the restrictions, you could come up with spending four hundred thousand dollars. Can't even picture it. Right. I'm picturing <laughs> sixty, eighty thousand a year for ditches and stones and stuff. Yeah. Culverts. And well, I think, I think, and I don't know. Maybe she she conclude this, but I know in the beginning they said that we could update our um oh our records. Right. Yeah, that would fall in it. Yep. Yeah. And and that is something that we we desperately need to yeah, kind of do, do that. so that if anything happens to this building, I mean we have them all microfilmed and you know if, if that thing should go up in fire, it's all except for our current books. But that's going to cost tens of thousands of dollars a minute. Uh, it's it's gonna have a it's gonna have a good cost to it. I don't know because I think it's all microfilm, so I think essentially they're just gonna have to, it's gonna be the indexing that I think is gonna be the big issue. Yeah. And then and then we'll have to figure out what it'll cost to have it online so people can act. Yep. Yeah. I I did talk to somebody about it months and months ago, uh, probably at the beginning of the summer. And I don't think that the yearly upkeep for the, because I was just going to do it through Nemeric because we use Nemeric for everything else. And it wasn't horrendous to, to just add another program to Nemeric and have them do our records online. It is going to be a lot, obviously, to do the, you know, the original scanning and, and indexing, like Becky said, but I can get more concrete numbers on that when the time comes. We should double check too about it sounded to me that that was it Sarah the other day was saying we have till 2026 or something and then the, the lawyer for legislative council the dairy task force was saying we only have till 2022 for ARPA and it's 2026 for the infrastructure investment and job stuff. I think I have it I'll, I'll look and see what she gave me I think I have it I was going to say, I think 2022, we have to decide how we're going to use it. Right. Right. We don't have, but you to, don't have to do it. We don't have to spend it, I think, until 2024. Okay. Or 2025. Right. I don't remember the exact years, but I know we have to decide how we want to use it in the next year. And then, you know, the other question, which is coming up at this state budget thing, you know, with our pension problem, is that the same thing in town. Are there things we spend money on every year that would qualify for the ARP money? Because if we could slot that money in, then we would have either you know a lot less <laughs> tax exposure, or we could use that other money for what you know, improving the bond something like that. <coughs> that was what I was wondering about the budget. We were like, oh, you know, we spend a certain amount every year on ditching, but if the government's going to pay for ditching for three years, exactly, let's put that money somewhere else. So, so it says, so, sorry, Becky. Um, so the, the money has to be obligated by December 31st of 2024, and it has to be expended by December 31st of 2026. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, but I do think that we're going to have to do, you know, we're going to have to look at this and I think we should have some sort of public forum so the public feels like they were a part of yes, this yes, yes. and they and then but I think that we should pretty much have an idea of where we yeah. would like it all to go. I think yes, we yes. gotta have a plan. Yeah. Um, you know, unless somebody comes in and idea or something, we can change it. But right. 
Maybe cool. one of the first meetings or it doesn't need to be the first one, but a meeting in January, I can have Sarah come back and she can do like a more thorough discussion with us and sit down at the table. And one of our big select board meetings can just be discussing ARPA funds and what does qualify more. And she can kind of go more in depth than she did the other night. And I think Brenda should be involved because in her mind, we already spent this on the generator and yeah. <clears throat> the repeater and she's she's got various things in her mind that we've already spent it on because I know she came in and she was like, we had that meeting, I have this money spent. So I was like, <laughs> okay. That's a, that's that's a right. I was like, well, I don't know how to get all that in there. The generator might fall under the clean water. She's like, well, it's all emergency management. It'll fall in there somewhere. <laughs> well, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. But it, I think definitely Mike's got the idea that we've got to have a plan. We can't just say to the public, what do you want? Right. Because yeah, no, don't do it that. just doesn't work. No. And it's like a once in a generation or a right. lifetime type of right. infusion of money right. we don't get. So. So we need to come at them at the public with a plan and yeah. say, well, this is this is our plan. You and can take enough, any part of it away. And then if somebody says, well, why don't we do this? Right. And you can take something out of this and put it into right. that. Yeah. It's a process. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. How about budgeting now? So we talked about income and let's talk about expenses. <laughs> oh yeah. The one other thing which just we have to get done tonight if we're going to do it is can we find money for bonuses don't look at me i ain't getting money i am where it's really there you go because we don't budget for it right becky yeah, yeah. isn't there a budget in here? Uh, it's under there's four hundred dollars staff, staff appreciation, appreciation. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it's on the second page. General fund expenditures, part way down. Well, it's on this one. How, how did we come up with that number? A hundred for each. For each highway. Highway guy. Okay. Sorry, Mara. No, no, no. That's okay. Okay. You know, I forget now, one year we got cash, but you know, I might just slip it in there. Check or a separate check or? You better give them cash and then pay no taxes on it right. if you can. I don't know. Take it out. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Yeah. 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 Let's see what I, I can do. Yeah, I think the first year we just gave him a bill, didn't we? Yep, in a card. In a card? No, we gave them Visa cards. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, huh. Jackie yeah. went yeah. and gave everybody a $100 Visa card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which I think would kind of be my preference. Sure. Well, why, why is that? Uh, well, so if I give them a check, I don't want it to get taxed. Right. Right. And if the auditors are going through and I'm giving them personal yeah. checks, I'm not reimbursing them for anything. Technically, it has to get taxed. Okay. Yeah. So it'd be my preference that if we're going to give them a gift, yeah, we, we I think either. only doing highway. Uh, who else would be? I know we right. did. We did the AA and, and we don't appreciate it. Transco station. That's the only employees. Well, other than like Andy shoveling is technically right. an employee. That's full time. I think right. it is. Those are the only employees. Above, above the... <coughs> so yeah, so we. The town group and the town treasurer don't count. They're no. not employees. We still appreciate them. Oh. <laughs> um, Some of them. Most yeah. of them. Yeah. Back in the old days. 
Um, but we did forget, or, or whatever, there's not enough money to give Mike Barnaby $100. Uh, and we really should. Very good either. Well, we steal that out from where, can't we? I, I don't see why not, but we just we ought to think about that next year. Or this year, if you're doing Visa cards. I mean, I'm, I'm for it. It's okay to go over budget, but right. I mean, as long as it's documented. Right? Yeah, I would say hey. you spend more there and then budget next year better. And yeah. All right. Um, so, so we want to put in for next year another hundred bucks in there. Me. Well, unless we want to appreciate Mariah next year. Yeah. No. Uh, where do you want a gift certificate, Mariah? Where do I want one? Doesn't matter to me. Whatever, whatever you you guys want, I'm not picky. Hmm. And visa is always more than a hundred. Yeah, there's some sort of a oh, the fee for it. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. So you want to put in six hundred for next year? That's yeah. what I wrote in. Yeah. So anyway, I guess in a roundabout way, can you make that happen? Uh, I can try. It probably won't happen for Christmas. Well, you just put them over here. That's three shopping days left. Sure. Sure. Oh, that's sure. right. It is this weekend, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Except that I can't just write myself a check. It's got to go through the whole approval process yeah. and you have to, like, you know. But I could probably put it in for the next meeting and then. Put it in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, just tell Thomas to spread the word that we didn't, we didn't forget him, but we didn't um, <laughs> intentionally forget him. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am gonna switch credit card companies. Oh yeah? Yeah. What are we working on? Right now we are with um no, I can't think of their names, but no matter how many times I've told them that they're not supposed to charge us fees. They charge us fees. They charge us fees. And I'm like every time she's like, I've got it all fixed for you, it'll never happen again. And the next time someone uses their credit card, it charges us to use. I'm like, I'm just done. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna call Minisuke now that you know the bulk of everybody's used it. So and just have them tra transfer it over because I can't. What is it? Minisuke. It's sort of meant for government. Municipal. Yeah. <laughs> but they're obviously not gonna charge us fees because their right. whole thing is built on right. how how it works and so um yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do because this one i'm just done yep yep yeah. general office miscellaneous that's got a lot of money in it you can steal a hundred bucks out of there for this year which is fun or two hundred bucks Oh, for this year? For the mm -hmm. appreciation fund. That was one of my question marks. We had 7,000 and we only spent 3,700. Yeah. We need to budget 7,000. Um, what was this under office? So general, office. general office miscellaneous. I think it that one catches things like when we need to buy a new fire safe that we didn't anticipate. Yep. Or um, not computers though, right? Or no, that was an um. And Rudy wants me to really stress that we're going to have to buy some new computers next year, and he. We need to upgrade our server, which will be over ten thousand yeah. dollars. Um, so the budget doesn't work like that. Can I have some money help with that? 
So that's Rudy's hope, but. So the computer and office equipment, we should bump that up to 20,000? Well, yeah, unless we can get we for sure that right. we can cover it. Um, and it may be that we're able to use the ARPA money and reimburse that. Right. Right. Um, but I think like I'm gonna need a new computer eventually soon minus going on to seven years this year. Yeah, I just got a new one today because mine was about to die. The office computer doesn't even change the school program. Yeah, so there's there's gonna be they just not that big of a um, about a long time. Yeah, and, and Rudy really would like to get us to get that. He wanted to be here tonight to advocate for it, and he 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 has a conflict, and he was like, "Please make sure that that." Well, let's put it down for twenty thousand. Yeah, you know, and then hopefully we can yank it out of Brenda's money, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, you know, and if if we have ten thousand left over. That's where it goes. Right. We'll use it on something else. Um, I had a question about the county taxes. I saw the. I was going to say, right here is the budget, I think. For 2022. I saw that number somewhere and I can't remember what it was. I don't know how they come up with these numbers. Oh, I had a question on the snow removal. We went from zero to 3,000. How did we do zero? Oh, I think because it was a new budget. I am. Um, it's on their slip board. Um, expenses right under staff appreciation. Huh. It's just coffee doesn't have that. All right. So I think what we did was we combined, you know, do we have the budget for it? That one's good. All right, I have that we don't have a budgeted for, but on here it says there is a budget for it. Well, it depends on which one you're looking at. <laughs> Interesting. Um, removal, yeah, right. I think originally I just had it under mowing and property maintenance. Oh. And then because we had. Like some, somebody, somebody else doing. And he was he was plowing out front yeah, and then it yeah. and then it went yeah. up a whole lot. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. And then and now Andy barely charges us anything because he just I think we're back to the highway crew is plowing in the front out again. Right. He's doing the shoveling. And Andy does the shoveling and he okay. Okay. Yeah, he's so, I just wanted to know. So what's the actual rent for last year? Because the mowing property maintenance was eight eighty. It was it was way over that when Eli was yeah, but yeah. it was like two thousand so dollars. I think there was the two thousand one hundred and forty of of last year, um, and then I think we got rid of him before the end of last year. Yeah, I don't remember why we. Also, Andy took over partway through the season. I think so. Yeah. So we don't really don't know what to charge. Yeah, because nobody was doing it. Right. And then. Does Andy have a rate? Of the, the uh, we, we pay him $15 an hour to do it. And he, I mean, right now, I think he's at something like three hours. He, yeah, it's only snowed twice. So. Yeah. But I mean, he doesn't, you know, Eli came and 
actually charged us for quite a bit of time and yeah. effort and plowing. Right? Yeah, and plowing. And so I don't know if we want to. We want to keep it alive. I think that we should. Probably. Well, I think snow removal probably should because we should keep it separate. Yeah. Um, so for those want? things, but I 500 think. 500 or 1,000? Yeah, I think 500 probably let's, will. Let's put 1,000 out. I think 1,000. Okay. Just in case. If we have to switch back to somebody actually right. doing plowing. Right. right. Or we get a whole crap load of snow somewhere. Right. Yeah, and then because we should be bidding that out at some point. Oh, we will. Lucky that Andy. Yes. And then mowing and property maintenance at 14, I think it's okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, the copier rental and maintenance. I think we want to. Um, I think if we make that twenty five, that would be better. So I think we're going to have to buy twenty five hundred. Yeah, because we're going to okay. have to buy some ink. Okay. Yeah. And then liability insurance. The PQ is over budget. Not much, but it is. I can only see that going up too. I feel like liability insurance because actually went down costs. this year. I feel like li liability insurance, oh. I just read in one of their things that it is going down a little bit. So maybe we can only budget 20. We only spent 15. Okay. And put the TQ up to um, 35. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how about the printing? There's a printing and then printing of TQ. Right. So the printing of TQ includes the postage and, yeah. and all of that. What printing. about the regular printing? Printing is like if we have to buy envelopes or um, those kind of things. That's no problem. And, and maybe Becky, I, when I have been doing some of the bills for you, I've also been putting um, the Herald in there. If we put stuff in the Herald, so maybe that's incorrect of me, but just so you know. And I think that we can we could up that and call it printing and advertising. Yeah. So should we put it up to 500? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, traditionally what, when you, we have to advertise for new position or post warnings, that sort of thing, where does that fall on what line item? So it really depends on who takes it out. So it might go under miscellaneous or it might go under printing. Um, I think I also often took it out of printing because there are so few times that I've actually needed to send stuff to the printer. Mm -hmm. um, well, we have to do a lot in the Herald, it seems. Yeah, by spells. <laughs> right, that's legally, you know. Yeah, so. Special time we need for them. We, yeah. We've had a lot of. We'll probably have some of those this year. Yeah. Um, We might want to up just the general office supply budget. Although I kind of consider, you know, when I go over on this, that one, I move it down to this one. Move up to six. Yeah. That... Street lights. I heard electricity was going to go up by some percentage. I don't remember what it was now. Really? That's what I heard. Do you want to move like 5,500 on yeah, street lights here? Yeah. Yeah. And then grant expenses, you can't 
account for. Right. Operating to what, so the actual on grant expenses. What does that mean that we had to pay to rivers or no? So that was actually the money that we um, spent for that the original um, COVID grant that we got last December. That was reimbursement for yeah expenses. And so I tried to put all of the things. It wasn't all of our expenses, but any expenses going forward, like the, the sign and those things. So it looks funky because we didn't budget for it. Right. We had real expenses and we got reimbursed, which doesn't show up here at, well, that, at that spot. right? Here, yeah, yeah, not at that spot, but there is a spot for right. um, the grant. Yeah. yeah, no, there's, it's under state grants. Yeah. And we got twenty three thousand some odd amount. That, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't able to get all of it in here because we had spent some of it ahead of time. Um, but I tried to um, once we knew we were using what, which is what we will do for ARPA. It'll have its own right accounting. Yeah, it should. Yeah. Um, talk to me again about the administrative assistant thing. Administrative assistant. We folded her into the town clerk. Yes, right. but we're going to have to unfold her. <laughs> <laughs> not, no, not that one. Well, but it, so, okay, it so. Eight hundred bucks and we spent six fifteen. <laughs> So uh, well, we probably don't. The only problem is, is that if 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 Mariah gives up that position at any point, right. we right. might need to. Didn't she it. sign a contract? No. Did I sign a contract? Negative. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, did not happen. So. Okay, so you want to leave that like that? Yeah, I mean. I always feel bad, but if right. at any time that if Mariah decides she doesn't want to do it anymore, yeah. we have yeah. to have the money there. Yeah, so. have to have but that position, though, wouldn't it make more than seventy eight hundred for somebody in a year? Like, who would work for us? No, it's, it's very like few it. hours. It's, it's like ten hours. hours a week. Okay. It's just somebody's, you know. It's very part time. It's just somebody. Yeah, it's just somebody's. You know, they're they're. Egg money isn't that what we used to call it? Well, I remember like Jillian was that first, right? Yeah, it yeah. like she was making more than that, but maybe then, well, she started working in the office, so she was working more hours, and then we started giving her more money, and then and she went in the town clerk saying, Yeah, right, so, okay, well, that's good to know that it's that sort of it's like an eight thousand dollar a year position. So, is some of the Town clerk wage is that? Why is that way over? So the town clerk wage, the reason is is because it includes the eight thousand dollars, but that's included into what we pay her. So what what I don't want to happen is that if she were to say, okay, I'm done, and we bring somebody else in. I don't want them to go, okay, I'm getting oh, oh, her yes, salary yes, yes, yes. plus the 8,000. Yes, yes, yes. And then I want health insurance on top of that. Right. Yeah. So yes, it looks like it, it okay. went over, but- I remember that conversation, I think. Yeah, but we- um, So should we leave it at that? So, should we bump it up to 5.9? So this is what you guys have to decide if, and, and Mariah and I have talked because she's going to have well, she's a baby. Yeah, <laughs> hmm. yes. um, so she and I have talked extensively about how we should do hers. And you can jump in if, if I don't explain it completely correctly. No, I, I think I, you'll do better than I will. So go for it. <laughs> so what I did. Um, I took 
it gave her the the cola increase and i don't know if you guys want to stay with this we've just always done a colon increase yeah. and the cola increase for 2023 is 5.9 5.9 wow yeah huge what, um, was it, what was it last year for example? You, got that. Yeah, right. you got that much of a raise this year, didn't you? I did, but I didn't actually receive it. <laughs> I promise. Why, uh, why the difference from the federal government or the uh, state who comes up with this? No, federal government. Oh, it's no, no. because of, um, what is it when? It's from the whole country. In, inflation. That's the word I'm looking yeah. for. <laughs> inflation. The cost of living went up. Yes, because inflation. So their, their index was like, well, inflation. Yeah. yeah. So because everything costs more now, they have to give everybody more money. Yeah. That's massive. Though. Well, that's the American way. <laughs> um, so what we did for her is um, I gave her the cola increase when I was figuring out her, her um, total and then gave her two months off. And didn't include that in in the total of what we are going to pay her, and then we spread that out over the whole year so that she would always have a paycheck. Um, I will. So the thirty four seven seventy is your final figure. No, so that's last year's. Right. So if you look on the my fun little colored page here. Um, is in green so it'll it'll actually go down or it'll be oh, it'll be 41 minus the eight it's actually going to go down a little bit because she did get 46 or however it was but it'll so we're be, gonna i'm not understanding this so we're gonna go with the 38 325? Yes. Well, yes. That'll be hers, but it'll be, it'll only be 30 because it'll be 3325 because the eight will be in her health insurance that we pay her. And so who's going to be town clerk? So that'll be much higher, right? Because we'll have to. So what we won't. We won't hire another town clerk. What we'll do is hire an assistant town clerk. Yeah. So Mariah yeah. will have to advertise and, and find herself. So I've bumped up the hours of the assistant yeah. um, to 15 hours for 20 weeks. Um, so that in that that one will just um, so I guess my point, my question, point, whatever it is that we're gonna pay Mariah for not less because she's not going to be there as much, but we're going to also going to pay somebody else for being there. So in the end, the money might be about, but about It'll the same. About the same. Actually, <coughs> um, in so. my calculations, we're actually going to go down. We're, we're increasing by 5.9% and the total is down. All right, Mariah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, anything I can do for you guys, let me know. I can pay you to stay away. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I, I went over these numbers a lot because I, I was like- I should get bottled water. Oh, oh Dev, wants, Dev thinks that you should get bottled water next to your packets that I give you next, he said. <laughs> Maybe a, a glass of water with some uh, cucumber in it or something. Yeah, absolutely, you know. So what's do our, more for less. What's our final figure going to be for town clerk wage? So her, hers will be 30, 32504. 33. Nope, just 303204. Because oh. then there'll be the 8,000 that we give her, you know, for not taking our insurance. That's kind of built into that. Okay, what's our assistant? Town clerk wage will be. And our assistant town clerk wage will be 4500 4500 Okay. Gotcha. All right. It's making sense. Making a little longer. Anybody in mind for that, Mariah? I don't. I had somebody in mind, and then I asked them, and they were like, sorry, I have too much stuff going on. Hello, Mike. Yes. He's interested. You're interested? 
Sure, <laughs> you can come be the town clerk. Um, I was just thinking probably the first of the year, um, I would start posting it in the Herald and around and see if I could get any bites. Good. Good. And then you're gonna you're gonna adjust these taxes and stuff accordingly. Yeah. 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 I'll add the two FICA amounts and put that in there and I'll figure out the town clerk. Mm -hmm. So the road crew's getting cola. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's on the other side. Okay. So that, the only question mark I had down the page was the auditor wages are they going to want? But we, we budgeted 6,806,000 and we only spent 2,227 last year for who? Auditor wages. Yeah, I don't think we have to budget that much. So like 3,000 enough for 4,000? Well, one of our problems was that the NISA didn't. Yeah. Has she yet? I don't think I've ever seen I don't anything. know. I sent her a note that I thought that she needed to do that because she's setting a precedent. Yeah. That's not what, what it's all about. We need to budget it. Um, but I'd stay with four probably, not knowing what we might have to do or whether we have to go to training. Or okay. Like yeah. that. But we certainly don't need the six. And so that's four. Yeah. Um, about listed. That just staying the same, or is that a? Yeah. Is that a? <laughs> I gave them the cola, so they're gonna go up to thirty-four. They what? The budget's gonna go to thirty-four. Yeah, it's hard because they don't work all the hours right. necessarily that they. That we budget for. That we budget for. Yeah. But they could. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and Darlene definitely will because she comes in whether it's, you know, snow flying or not. Mostly because she lives on the ground. Right. right. Um, and treasurer. Oh, yeah. What about treasurer? Treasurer goes to a total of 25. Look at that. What is that, Becky? With the, oh, not 25, 23. Oh, 23. 23,958. So I don't know if you just want to put 24 to round it. Sure. That's because of the cola again. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I keep looking at the total. Not Do you need more hours, Becky? No, I don't. I don't need more hours. I don't. This needs more money. <laughs> don't get it. Doesn't everybody need more money? More painkillers from West Cambridge. That's right. For uh, November. First. Those are going up first of the year. Oh man! And then the one thing that I I I think we can reduce quite a bit though is um my assistant. Oh, your assistant. Assistant. Uh, is she any good? Well, Mariah does, you know, Mariah's kind of my backup right now. Yeah. Um, so that answers that question. Yeah, she sucks then, basically, is what yeah. Becky's trying to say. I mean, that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we could, we could knock that one down a little bit. because. Well, you do so much, Mariah, that if somebody from outside looked at this and said, Boy, the whole whole municipal department's yeah. gotten pregnant. I, I know. <laughs> Even the supervisory union minute maker. I just try to be helpful is all it is. Becky says she needs help. I say, let me do bills for you. No way, but she's gonna Right. We'll have, we'll have she no and John Houston. Yeah. yeah. We'll have no control at all. Um I also think that we need to think about election wages being back to 3,000 because there will be a major election. The, you think more than three? No, 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 no. Right now it's set at five. Yeah. So I think it should go back to the three, which is usually our election year. Okay. Unless, Mariah, you think that's. She can do that for 500 bucks. 
Yeah, I I can do whatever. No, I that's not that's not me though, Mike. That's everybody else. So no, I, I agree with you, Becky. <laughs> Just because I know there's a lot more hours. Yeah. Is election, election machine money at two thousand? Is that okay? So stay on this five thousand four hundred. <laughs> oh, because I didn't actually change elections. I um, just left it. Okay. But I, I do think that um, I don't necessarily think I don't know. Um, I, so I, this year, sorry, Becky, go ahead. Well, do you think you need there's 450 hours of People times for elections? Probably not 450. No. I think that the 2000 would probably be fine that we paid out in 2021. Don't you or no? Yeah, I'm thinking 2000 is fine for, I don't know. It depends on how many school elections we have to have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we. A little bit high. Oh, yeah, because we're gonna it depends on how chelsea votes and we right. might have to vote right. we are going to be getting a new um tabulator this year that the state is switching out the tabulator we currently have and they're getting us a new one i believe that that does have to come out of our budget i'm not sure of the cost but so that's something just to think about on the next page for election machine there's nothing budgeted, but I don't know. This year we don't have an election to have, so we would have used it. Right. Well, my paper has 2000 for election machines. Yeah, well, that was that was in 2021. And then in 2022, we have zero because we didn't. <coughs> yeah. So should we put 2000 back in the pack? Yeah, probably. Okay. I know at one point it was going to cost a thousand dollars to program it. Wow. Anytime we had to program it, just put the new the Secretary of State doesn't stuff. fund any of that. Like, well, oh, so maybe we get it under the. I think the that's RP why we only spent, you know, four hundred and ninety-four dollars of of that two thousand because they did pick up a lot of the cost. Yeah. But and the, but they keep telling us. No, we're not doing that anymore. You're gonna to have to pay for it all. So I, I, I don't know. It's hard to say that. Yeah, yeah. we should. A bit of plan on paying for it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know what to do about the IT stipend. That's an odd number. Why did we come up with that? Well, so it, it it includes the FICA in it. Oh, oh 77. Okay. Is, um, that, is that for Rudy? That's for Rudy. Well, so yeah, but he won't take it. <laughs> <laughs> and get him a visa card <laughs> <laughs> so he i mean that is money that we pay probably rb at this point um but we have another line item for that don't we yeah we do yeah. that rb comes out of our um computer and equipment funds yeah. so about like 400 or 500 a month or something like that it's close so, to $452 a month. So anyway. what could we do for him? Why have a turkey? I was going to say good luck because I, I'm having other a hard Other monies time he paying. doesn't take? He does take his flood coordinator because yeah. I, I pretty much told him he had to because I was like, <laughs> you deal with a lot of crap to do that. Yeah, yeah that's good. Um, he I don't takes his lister money or no? Huh? He takes his Lister money or not? Let me tell you, it's hard to get him paid really? because he's got to give me his hours. Yeah. And doesn't. the last hours he gave me were for June. Shoot. He probably doesn't charge us for the hours that he sits there behind the computer either. That guy is hard to pay. I'm like, just give me your hours. I just want your hours. The next time he comes in, we should, you know, if he wants to be this way, just because we need to budget yeah. for it. You know, he should like set up an escrow or something. So we'll have like, you know, Rudy can decide where at the end of the year, you know, the 3,000 he did take, we could, well, we, but I think we he, could budget it. He more. needs it. He just, 
Right. He he procrastinates giving me his time uh, for. But stuff so, like the, the, the when the, we were in here all the time, he used to just um I think Jola pretty much would like force him to force do him to do it. And then Jola left and Darlene, I'm sure, will take that role as soon as she sort of figures out that that's what she needs to do. But the stipend, you should just get it. I mean, you shouldn't have to submit hours for that because it's a stipend, right. isn't it? No, so yes. sorry. But Brian. I asked him if he wanted it because I what I don't, what I hate, it's really hard, is if I make a paycheck for someone and they don't want it right. and they don't ever right. cash it. Yeah. Um, it hangs out in our books. What? It happens with the recreation department. You can ask Betsy. There's like one. What What if we bought him a credit card? Would he? I don't know if he would accept would it. Would he use it? What do you mean on? I don't know. He's so, he's a hard one. Can we bully him? How if we push him around? Becky, what if we uh, bought him a $1,000 gift certificate to um, Pump and Pantry in Williamstown? I've seen him up there several times, really? sucking down raspberry. <laughs> yeah. Lucky. Yeah. You might start Lucky something you, you wish you had. <laughs> yeah, but I can't get him to give me his hours. I keep being like very well, Going back to the stipend thing, could he just be given a quarterly stipend or something like that? Well, that's or, what I mean. Um, just, just give it for IT. But he yeah. doesn't think that he should get the IT one because I've asked him. You would just give it well, <laughs> yeah but i don't want to like give it to him and yeah. he'll be like i don't want this and then i know he won't spend it i know he does that with his all right well we have to have a discussion with Rudy then, just because yeah. we're, we're, we're budgeting for a position yeah. not yeah. Really to take this money just like any of us he right? doesn't like... want position right yeah. i mean i'm sure yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure he would love for someone to take over the IT part that he doesn't have to always devote time and energy to figuring out why my email doesn't work. Yeah. You think that's it? He just doesn't want to do it? No, he does it. So yeah. Well, he does it, but does he want to do it? It's just a combination <laughs> of like procrastinator. He sort of. So, I mean, I think he, he wants. Volunteer half the time. I think he something. wants his money. He just has to like give me his timesheets. He knows this at this point. Well, let's just, let's just. But I think that's why when I you look at their. Let's budget a thousand and we'll figure this out later. All right. Okay. Move along. Move along. That's what I always say. Do you add any new position? Uh, Did what? Are you considering adding that nursing position? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Does sure. that come into this anywhere? So that that woman is is meeting with us next Tuesday to discuss that. Um, okay. I do have the total. I ha I have the one from Sharon. If you want to me to tell you the amount what? that Sharon pays a year. What are we looking for? What are we? The tax okay. You, you probably haven't been here, but Jody Hoyt is offering to be a town nurse. He does it in Sharon, right? No. He doesn't do it for Sharon. She found out that Sharon was has here. one. But she does yeah, she does. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Well we can skip all that till we talk to yeah. her, right? Well but what, we what, what, what what what's Sharon paying? They are paying twenty five to thirty dollars an hour for eight hours a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So eight times 25 times 52 is 10,400. Wow. Oh, but I'm just make a note to maybe yes. like make $8,000. Yeah. And then we'll, just so we don't forget. And yeah. It's easier to cut it out then. We're looking at that. Yeah. You're looking to fund that for eight thousand. Yeah. Just for that. Okay. Um, have we heard from ambulance services what their new contracts will be? No. I haven't seen anything. Um, we might want to contact them so that we know what that needs to go up. Okay. 
it won't be, well, I mean, I'm assuming it won't be too much more than last year. They try to hold their costs down. So, because you never know. But you never know. Anybody know? Um, Make a note. Sheriff, are we changing our sheriff services? Well, I think that was a snap move because they didn't realize what was happening and this year is going to be way down because we never signed a contract afterwards. So they were only working minimum because they didn't know if they had a contract. And three quarters of a year, right? Yeah. So I'd leave that alone. I mean, okay. me personally. Yeah. Well, we're not changing services. So the not that we know of, no. no. Okay. All right, dog catcher, that can create constable day drive me insane. How's that? Because neither one of them has returned their paperwork so that I can pay them. Oh, wow. Because they don't want to get paid. Well, let's stay with 800 then. All right. Health officer. This one I can get Ryu to take. He will take his 500 for flood coordinator. Good. And then, um, well, health officer is saying the same, right? Because Jerry said that, like Betsy, right? That, yeah, she's, she's gonna try <coughs> offering the way I did, so yeah. <coughs> uh, but there's still other things that come in, like posters and right, right, um, sheriffs, and yeah. So should we keep that number the same then? Yeah, no, I think it's okay. good to keep it the same. Gotcha. And then transfer attendant. Da, 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 da. We gotta bump up the transfer station attendant. Yeah, like five point nine. Nine thousand four hundred, we'll say. Because we nine thousand like four hundred. Yeah, we like our round numbers. That covers four in attendance twice a week for the whole year. So you know that whether it's Rod or Mike, or is that just? I should double check that amount of hours. Yeah. We, it looks like we spent a whole lot more. Yeah. I and I'm that. looking here on my thing and it's not. So I'm going to put it at 11 hours a week and then see what that does. Yeah. Oh, speaking of that, to get off track a little bit, that I assume right. the dump's going to be closed Saturday. Yeah. I would hope so. I mean, Christmas. We never talked about that, no. but people probably, somebody might show up thinking it's just another day. Really? The dump celebrates Christmas. Chinese people or somebody like that. Still, they know it's Christmas. <laughs> Nothing is you open. <laughs> but it just it seems odd we didn't have a discussion about that. It's pretty odd. We pointed it out to Mike a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Right? And, and um, what about New Year's? Same thing, that's usually a holiday. Well, the cool thing though is we have Wednesday. Right, right. No, it's not like we'll be closed on New Year's. That's a uh, weird one because I'd go anyway. It's just another day for me. I would say it's a Saturday, that's, right? Yeah. You know, I, see, this is the thing. I, I always put these decisions up to Mike whether he wants to right. work or sure. not work. Yeah. Christmas, I think it'd be a no brainer. He probably doesn't want to work. I, I would say that no one should be working on Christmas. Right. And, um, and the traffic would be minimal anyway, right? People are getting yeah, bored. he'd be sitting there being bored, yeah. but he's got kids. That's why I said right, right, right. No, I thought it was, I would hate to force him to. And we have a meeting back. next week, don't, don't we? Yeah. So we could we could talk about it then. Right. And, and I can ask him right. tomorrow if I go. Right. I'm going to try to go. I don't know if I'll get there or not. Yeah, definitely touch base. Yeah. Um, have we heard but, whether, as far as we know, right? We're sticking with twice a week for next year. He likes she it. seems to enjoy it, and it, I've heard from many people that they like it. Yeah. yeah, that it it reduces the amount of traffic on a Saturday in the winter, and a lot of people like to just run up there on Tuesday when there's you know not a lot Wednesday. of traffic. Yeah. No, or Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. 
whatever day it is. Yeah, because there's so much on a Saturday, things can be going on. You miss it, and you're like, oh, now, oh, yeah. now I'm up for two weeks. I right. And then we're, we're restricting the number of little bins you can bring for recycling. And you all. know, and that that might be something because it was it was inspired by COVID or, or the reaction to COVID that I wonder something like that we could use our money for. Oh, to offset the cost of having the dump within yeah. two days? Maybe. Well, maybe, yeah. We should make a note of that. Um, Your friend that spent that. <laughs> oh, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> you so, know one thing about garbage? Is, is it the Cella sending thing around? Or? I haven't heard anything. I don't know, Mara, have you heard anything from Cella? In regards to up in cost, for... yes, yes, I I had it again for you for last meeting. I had talked to Mitch, and he had given me um, a spreadsheet of how many bags we would have to charge. You know, recycling to offset our recycling fees. He said we should be charging like two dollars and fifty cents, like a bag or a tote for recycling. <laughs> It will because you bring in a, an arm of cardboard. What's that amount? So, and the, I mean, we we put our recycling in little plastic bags or big ones or or whatever. So it's kind of weird. Are we gonna start charging for recycling? Did Mitch say we should? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm only I'm only gonna throw this out here because uh, somebody's gonna pay for it. So either all well, of us. Everybody pays for it collectively in their yes. taxes. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then, you know, then paying to go to the dump offsets that cost. But um, the the thing that we have to be careful of is when we start to charge for recycling, people stop recycling. Yeah. Right. And they start dumping it. And then I know. Or if it's all the same, we just continue. Right. Yeah. And they right. just stop recycling because they're right. like. I saw a guy from Royal from say that when they started charging, he said, "I'm just putting the garbage." Yeah. So well, you're you're paying for it anyway. What right. difference now? Yeah. It's easier. Just have one one barrel and two. Right. I mean, it, it would be almost better for me for us to go up on our trash bet, like the cost of, you know, trash tickets. Yep. Yeah. By fifty cents. But I figured up all the expenses with, with the garbage and it came in, it cost us $53,326. And we only took in 27,000. Yeah, no, it does not pay for from itself. The dump tickets. It does not pay so, for itself. So we're already well. doing that. We just don't realize. We, I think we do it purposely because we don't want people to dump their trash. Right. Yep. And, but we also don't want people who, I, I remember conversations from the past, you know, when you, the people that come for the summers and whatever and they're not paying necessarily taxes or renters or all the people that don't necessarily pay into the taxes there should be some cost that they're helping to offset it well sure i suppose but i don't want a perfect world well <laughs> i also don't I want it'd be too hard <laughs> i don't too want cheap. yeah i don't i just don't want people to start dumping their trash right. and if we want people to recycle and it pushes, I mean, like you're saying, if it was $4 a bag or whatever for, for trash, I mean, we, we want to push more people to, you know, drop off their food scraps and to recycle. Right. Because in uh, the end, that's the, that's a good thing to exactly. do. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's where my mind goes. Yep. I'd rather do that than, and then that way people still use those services. Yeah. And don't just burn their trash and, but. But yeah. So, so anyway, we we don't know if there's any increases in in, in our fees then for, for just recycling and trash hauling. I or... I didn't hear anything about increases in fees, but I can reach back out to them and ask if there's generalized yeah. increases in fees. Okay. I had just specifically asked about recycling. Yep. Okay. We'll make a note of that. So library building expenses we had some library people on i just wondered about the repair and maintenance because they mentioned what was it windows or uh, something yeah 
I don't wonder if we should crank it up a little bit. Just probably a good idea. Not knowing what it's going to cost. You want to go two thousand, or you want to go way over that? No, I, I wouldn't want to go over two thousand, but probably we could spend it easily. Do we want to get an estimate from Mariah what they're looking at to doing to the building, so we can better? Sure, because we. I mean, we don't haven't got to finalize this budget tonight. Right. So, right. So right. let's reach out to her. The other Mariah, see what happens. The, the other, other Mariah. The other Mariah. The next yeah. thing down I took note of was we had budgeted 5,000 for repair and maintenance on the town hall. We only spent 876. But we didn't use it. Right. But I just, I didn't know if we should go with 5,000 again. Or... Well, look at we were at 5,000 and we spent 10,000. Right. So. Why don't we drop it to twenty five hundred for this year? Well, what about the lighting though? Oh, that's right. Our romantic lighting. What yeah. was that going to be? Four thousand. Our romantic lighting. Over three, wasn't it? Yeah, it's going to be. He said if he did the kitchen and everything, it was going to be a little less. Wouldn't be over four. Yeah. Right, and we might be able to get some special funds money for that, but I think I probably ought to put in four. At least four, yeah. Um, the other thing I was curious what you guys wanted to do, um, we have not increased Judy's right. pay in a couple of years because... Did she get FICA? Yeah, yes, she's she an employee at this point, but she's been level funded for the last two years. Um, I don't know if you want to just give Never her an extra dollar. Year, what, 150 bucks? Well, would so... Be, would that be... That'd be ten percent, right? So it's hard to tell because she has such. She's got a little cleaning here. She's got a little, right. and I wouldn't. The town hall. She's cleaned so little this year. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. Like she's had a half an hour here and maybe an hour right. there. Yeah. And hopefully next year, I keep saying this, we're gonna go back and have people wanting to right. rent it. Right. But she does a lot of stuff for free though, because she. She's all well, not always, but calling me up saying, "Well, we need to do this or that in the town hall," and you see a car there all the time. So yeah, no, she's, she's always checking it or something. Well, she she gets her supervisor wage to yeah. do that. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> I was just thinking if we bumped her, you know, her per hour up to eighteen. Yeah, I think that's good idea. And then I can just okay, yep. okay, do that and then figure it out. And then I'll figure it, it out. You know, we always budget for the position, like if. Right. right. Said I can't do this anymore. I got to take care of Quill. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll keep that and then figure those ones out. Should we drop the uh, heating oil that much? At the town hall. What's it in for? Four thousand. Are we changing? Are we going to change how we're doing that? Are we going to go to propane? Are we keeping it? Oil. Well, I think we're going to stay with oil for this coming winter. This coming winter. Right, but this budget's for right. the yeah. following year. Are we going to yeah. change to propane because this would be the one we want to? I think that's something we're going to. That needs a new furnace, though, right? Right. Are we budgeting for a new furnace? Well, that's what I'm saying. Right. If we're, if we're making those changes, where would a new furnace come? We don't have a line item for it, right? No. Um, this is repair and maintenance. Repair and maintenance, but there's also money in like um, capital improvement that right. you could use yeah. for that. What is in capital improvement? Uh, What's the ARPA for it? Is that if that becomes a yeah, uh, a civic center? Oh, what's it called? The emergency, emergency, right? Shelter, shelter, yeah, to have. Uh, a new furnace might might fall into something like that. Um, but that's got to be at least ten thousand dollars for the furnace. What was it for the library? I can't it was, that. Wasn't it eight to fourteen? At least on eight. Yeah. Stages. It was eight, and then I think the next one up was. Right. So I would think it'd be at least ten. Seven. Yeah, it was around fifteen, and they, and then there's already the other furnace in the, in the community room. So, 
and so three furnaces in that building. Yeah. But we still ought to have at least four thousand dollars for fuel. Right. Yeah. I mean, no matter what, we're gonna to have to buy some form of fuel. Right. And hopefully, if we put in propane and it was gonna be more efficient and all, we could just save money. Yeah. All right, so we'll put in four thousand. Yeah. How will we decide whether it's time for a new furnace? But primarily, was going to come over and take a look at it, wasn't he? Yeah. Then he went to Not, Greece. Then he went to Greece, and that was the end of that. Not working now. <laughs> then he came. No, no, he came back, and he was two weeks behind on the rhythm. That's what happens when you take off for two weeks. Those days. <laughs> we better put a line just question mark. <laughs> yeah. Budget for any furnace. And we can always get rid of it, but we, as, right. a, as a placeholder, we should think about it. How old is that furnace anyway? It's getting old. It seems like one time when Carmen looked at it, he said that it was. I had like three years left. Or yeah, something. or something. It was some specific time frame. Right. Like it's not going to crack out immediately, but. And then it wasn't used much last winter. Right. Right. But it still comes off and on, I mean, on and off, whatever, yeah. just to keep it up so it doesn't freeze. And I just think, yeah, I mean, with, with maybe these ARPA monies coming available in the next two or three years, maybe exactly. we probably should yeah. jump on it. I had to talk to Rudy about the phone and the internet um, because we're just changing our service. Um, here? Yeah, we're changing over to EC Fiber. Mm -hmm. Do they come here now to the building? Yeah. So we just we just changed it over, but we haven't. It's gonna cost cause us to have to change email addresses and all sorts oh, of. Oh really? Yeah. So, Will they do phone also? Yeah, but yeah, we just have to. Holland was here today. Um, I left while he was still trying to figure out what we needed to do. So why does it need to be so complicated? <laughs> um, have you seen the phone lines? Yeah. The the downstairs. Here's in a box. Yep. With a snake in it. Well, <laughs> it, it was funny. One guy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> One guy went down there. And he was like, um, "This is not really that acceptable." Well, remember we were paying for that phone line, right? We did pay for that phone line. <laughs> that one made me angry. Um, yeah, because it's in a box, in like a shoebox type deal. Well, it's like a plastic shoebox. Well, why? Why wouldn't we just start a new? Yeah, if you see, fiber was going to hook up just. Do away with well, that. so I think I think that's the we're in the process of yeah. kind of trying to figure out what because I also said you know we need to pay for two fax lines that we don't use anymore because we don't have a working fax machine. Yeah. Um, and I have resisted the idea of buying a new fax because legally, do we have to have one? Why do we have to have one? I didn't know if there was a state statute that municipality you know had to have a working fax. But I know of. And why do we have it? So I was like, yeah, not not that I know of either. It actually was like a big question on the the listserv that all the clerks are on in town, and a lot of people were like, "Do you still have fax machines?" And the majority of clerks said that they didn't. So yeah, because it just is, it's a technology most people don't. Right. I mean, you scan I mean, stuff. We had a dedicated, dedicated line probably for it, right? We had two dedicated lines yeah. for it, and so. <laughs> we could go down to just to the two lines. So I'm, I'm working, we're still figuring yeah. out, but I think that it might drop our our costs a little bit. So I just have to figure out how to get with Rudy and see what, what they worked out and how it's gonna work. So our IT guys on it? All right, so I would guys. keep it at 4,000 or whatever it is. The thousand dollars for fun and for that, or the four thousand for yeah, it says four thousand here. I mean, we can keep we can keep it. And my hope is that it'll go down. Right, but certain things like installation, right, may go off the first year. So, well, 
Hopefully that will all be done by this year. Bend over. Um, so that heating well for the town office. Well, well, the other thing is, oh, it's town office, not town hall, but we yeah. should have a, maybe a phone and internet line item for the town hall because it's- We do. We do. And it's a thousand dollars. It's right under repair and maintenance. Yeah, up the page for Okay, just because I've heard it's terrible. Yeah. Uh, well, so we've always mean, I didn't realize we didn't, people didn't have, it, it's always been over there. It's just been, we didn't have a wireless router. And the thought was, <coughs> the reason we had it over there was for elections and Betsy would, you know, hardwire into it. So she shouldn't really need a wireless wire router. But then when all of this happened, and then the guy was like, I don't even know if it's connected over there, which made us all go, excuse me, what? Yeah. So are we going to get a package deal from EC Fiber to do this building and that? I think so. Yeah. Again, with emergency shelter potential. Right. Yeah. That yeah. No. Really so that was the other thing um, that we're getting from RB that they're going to put in the router over there and oh, set good. up the service over there. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. Um, also, so that you guys could have your meetings over there potentially. Right, exactly. Nice. Or, um, you know, if we used an overhead projector that we had needed good internet for for a town meeting, for right. example, or some special town meeting. Yeah. Keep up. Yeah. Um, I'm moving on. Let's move on. Are we going to keep? Google generator. We'll keep all this. I put down yeah. under appropriations. What else went here? And I don't remember why I even put that down as a note. What else? Are those coming in, Mariah? Sorry. Yeah, there's a lot that I've sent to Anissa um, for the town report, but I also have a folder so I can show them to you next meeting if you want. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm too highway. Is that no. oh, so, so that's including the the fire department's annual ask appropriations. Not the equipment fund, but they're they're Probably that might be more of a Becky question, but I, well, I probably have something in there from them. I've added a new line from this year when I took it out. I added um, the fire department appropriation yeah. because it's separate on our tax. Right, exactly. Right. So I I separated it out okay, so that we wouldn't have that weird way over. Yeah. Or what about income for highway? Do you think it's going to stay about the same? I have not heard of any major changes. Uh, depends on if we want the TPS money, the trustees of public funds. Oh, yeah. Um, which we didn't get last year, but we have gotten this year. I guess unless we don't need it, we shouldn't budget for it, maybe. Yeah. I mean, we should go through the budget and see if we need it. I guess the other way to say it. I don't know if we're going to need it. Okay. I, think it <laughs> I think it helps bring that ginormous number down to something yeah. more manageable. I don't know. So there might be ARPA swap outs here or the infrastructure bill. Somehow, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty much level funded, but right. look for ways to swap out. Is better back road still going? Yeah. As far as. So is that consistent, the sort of grants we get from them? I'm going to be honest, you're going to have to ask Mariah about grant money. I. 
I feel like there yeah, are going on right now. Yeah, so Better Back Roads, I think, I feel like we consistently get like 20,000 from them for projects. Um, and I know that we just applied for one, Rita helped us apply for one for, I can't tell you what road it was, but they are consistently the same pretty much for that program. I hope. Park is consistently in the uh, needing of grant money. Um, Gotta get it improved. Your tractor trailer up there to get your help. Yes. It'd be very exciting. You need a new bulk tank? We were talking about that. Really? I think ARPA money would pay for that? Uh, yeah. Really? Or or some of the, the, the dairy task force that yep. come up with funds for yep. better better roads to the farm and and so that they mm. wouldn't they wouldn't have to be picked up. You know, because a lot of people have very small bulk tanks and right. so you have to have the trucks come a lot, I guess. Right. We get timers and everything. Maybe. Yeah. No, I don't need a bigger bulk tank. Yeah. Just right. Yeah. That's perfect. Very efficient. Where are we? By way expenses. All right. So Foreman is at 66,147. So maybe. What do you, what did you say, Becky? 66,200. For what? Foreman. Uh, Foreman. Um, that's with the cola. Yeah. So. I want to bump them up 10%. 10%. All right, I'll have to come back with those numbers. Then. Okay. okay, I think that's a good idea. Do, do you have any idea how we stand compared to other towns paying our um, I got this, I asked Becky and, and it's on here, but John um, Benson come in and asked me what we we're yeah. paying Rodney <coughs> because they want to know if they're in the ballpark or not. Yeah. So, Brookfield. Mm, Brookfield, yeah. So um, I just want to check on that. Over yeah, there. I know for a while, we were, and this was a number of years ago, we were kind of behind yeah. on the lower side. Yeah. And then we've done some fairly decent increases in the past few years. And so yeah. I hope we're at least catching up. Yeah. I don't want to be the lead. No. But I still want to stay. Because right. we get, like Mike has said many times, we have a great crew. They work well together. They're good guys. They're very attentive, and they do a great job. So we want to keep them. We have really Sitting nice there Friday friends. night watching TV, and I said, "What the hell is that noise?" <laughs> and Thomas comes Straight up around the, the grader. Yeah. Not many people do that at five o'clock Friday night. Right. Or yeah. at ten o'clock Friday night. They wanted. Yeah. They wanted to maybe make it a little smoother. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I mean, know what they were doing. Right. <laughs> No, I remember when he told me he was going. I was like, really? I was I actually expected him to go out later. I was like, I would have thought you were gonna let it get a little colder. Doesn't he have some sort of a fancy radio in there or something like that? So he's probably really enjoying himself anyway. Yeah. He listens to his books on tapes while he's driving. Yeah. Later. So there you go. Probably can't do that at home. Too much ruckus. Uh, he makes us suffer through it every car ride we go on. With What's him. he listen to? He listens to like sort of fantasy genre. Oh god. But it's really hard to step into the middle of something about elves and yeah. like this whole huh. world happening. Well good for him. But, We're gonna have you ride with him sometime, right? Yeah. <laughs> but um I don't know. To me it, listening to something keeps me more awake and my brain more engaged oh, so me that too. I can drive better. So I'm happier yeah. about that than right. listening to music. Listening to that too. Um, she drives, keeps oh, I should have looked and seen. It's just a very small increase in the health insurance. Oh, yeah, Good. that's what I it wondered was, about. It was tiny. Good. Yeah. Um, can we keep it? Well, no, it's got to go up a little bit, but. 50,000 or is it? Oh, no, I don't Compared to what it's been going up, though? Yeah. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah, so. Um, I, I gotta, I'll look. Well, you'll have that for us next time. Yeah, I'll, 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 um, well, well, just to, to satisfy my curiosity, is it going to be like 50,000 or is it Paul Park or is it going to be because it's 47,000? It yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the problem with this 47 is we had half the year, yeah, 
with Blue Cross and half the year. Oh, yeah. So um, right now we're budgeted um, 42. Right. Because so I imagine it'll be like maybe 45, 46. Nice. Okay. Okay. Um, that would be nice. Yeah. I'll see how much. Maybe it goes up more than that, but oh. I, I don't think it's going to go all the way up to 50. No, no, I don't even think it'll come close to that. Huh. I like that. I think everybody else likes it when they're there. And go down so much. And then you these are running. I think, I think dental stays the same. Envision that stays the same. Uniforms, we might need to bump up at least four. Oh, yeah, put that in four. Yeah, because that one I feel climbs on a yeah. a relatively yeah. steady and, basis. They yeah. Get, they do get dirty, don't they? Who do we use? Is it like Unifirst or something? Uh, we no, use I mean, Foley. Foley's, Foley. yeah. Where are they at? Huh? Wrong one. Yeah. Probably. Um, on the truck business, should we bump up number three by twenty five hundred dollars? Yeah. So it's seventy five hundred. Which one is number three? Who drives that one? I, that's Rodney. Yeah, that's getting old. No, that's the newest. That is? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Thomas must have the oldest one now. Thomas is getting expensive. His. What number is his? Number six. Or is he two? Number six. It must be number six. It says yeah. 14. I'm going to yeah. put that up to 10 because they just spent 4000 bucks on it. I know. That's four wheel drive. Six wheel because, yeah, Larry's got the 10 wheel, right? And that's and uh, um, we should bump the grader up, yeah, because mm -hmm. Rodney said he bought oils and filters and oh, cutting man. edges for it, spent 4,400 bucks. So. so, what's that gonna be? Um, well, I was thinking, of, I don't know. Should we put it to 10? Because right now it's yeah. at five. Yeah, I um, guess so. Seems like a horrible amount of money for a brand new tractor. Right. Well, I think the cutting edges alone. Well, yes, I know that, but. <laughs> Those things are expensive. No, we don't. The Dodge truck number four is no more. So yeah, right. we've got to put in a line item for the GMC. Chevy. Or Chevy or whatever it is. Well, it's find... all the same. Out what number they're making that one? Yeah, and then you got to change the 1998 Keats backhoe. To, yeah, or take it away. Yeah. No, I guess you got to change it to a John Deere backhoe. All right. 2020 or 2019? <coughs> I don't know. 20 at least. I don't know what year that one is. Just little things like that. Hey, Rodney said something about Sanders. He wanted more money. That's what he told me. <laughs> Sanders maintenance? Yeah, because of everything going up. Yeah, well, um, he, had no, a, he had a reason for it. There is a, uh, where they've always maintenance there. Sanders is moving. So oh, that's right. Tenko. Tenko is oh, that's moving right. They're going to have to drive down to Hampshire yeah. now. Right? So maybe he just wanted more yes. stuff on hand. Was that it? Or? I mean, I don't blame him a bit. I'd... Well, if you order something, they're going to have to mail it. Right. Or ship it or something. Or driveway down there. So, yeah. what, are we, what else do we use 10 for? Well, they, oh, they, set, they set up stuff for us. Too, yeah. Right? yeah. Plows and, and wings and everything. Well, basically, he wants more money for inventory then. Right. right. I think so because yeah. I know we talked about wanting to just buy, excuse me. Um, the change or something. Yeah, yeah. that's well, what I also probably, about. you know, loss of, I don't know how that comes into it, but if you have to drive something further, you know, to have them work right. on it, yeah. you lose more, more, you know, 
for you. Oh, yeah. So oh, put that good. up to like 3,000. Oh. Sanders. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 3,000. I, I guess. It's a, it's yeah. A, it's yeah. a number. It's a number. <laughs> The rest of that number to look good to me. What's that? I said I don't. I the rest of the numbers there look okay. Yeah. The one number I questioned was maintenance supplies, and we had nine thousand dollars mm. budgeted, oh. and it was twenty two four. I was gonna say this is one of those. This catches so many things. Right. Um, sometimes it gets overspent just because it. It really like those expenses should go off. here, but it we don't always know what they are. So the garage supply and the maintenance supply, like those should go up. How does phone work? I mean, they have a phone, but do they do they have internet over there too, or do they just they do use their not phones? Have internet. Do they need it? The question is, do they want it? Yeah, I'm gonna say theoretically. Right. I think they put it in the Brookfield because it was easy to keep up with the state stuff, right? But, um, yeah. If you ask Rodney, he doesn't want it because he doesn't want the guys on their phones. Yeah. If you ask the guys, they would like it because then they could listen to the weather and they could listen to things a lot easier. So uh, I don't know. I guess we'll leave it alone. <laughs> For now. <laughs> um, <laughs> How do they connect with the weather? Just using their phones or around their, their places they can go down by the library, stop in front of here. I'm in the library, all in town trucks back from the library. <laughs> They're reading. They're getting books on tape. Yeah, <laughs> downloading. I do that. How about diesel? Well, we we'll got fifty thousand. That should be okay. Yeah, that's kind of leveled off. So yeah. I was pretty scared there for a while. Yeah, I was too. And we're happy with our sand budget and our gravel. I think gravel budget is okay and yep. sand seems good. What about garage building improvement? Are you planning well, well, that's something. That's something we need to talk about at some right. point. Right. Maybe we, not even this year. Do right. we need to up our chloride budget? I don't know. Because we spent close to 20000 for that. Well, I know Rod was. Seems like we should. Um, move it to 20. From he, 15. Is that what it was? He was a little concerned that the rain. Was mud, making the roads. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that seems like he was backing off on core use there for a while. Well, I, I think he did back down. I don't know. I'm wondering if if we paid a big bill in July. Well, I think that that's happened in the past. We we pay one like early, like the first day of July, and then we pay one yeah. the very yeah. last day of June, and then all of a sudden the budget shot the hell because it's four thousand yeah. dollars more chloride yeah. or whatever it would be. That's what I'm kind of wondering happens there. Yeah. But. Um, guardrails. I really would like those guardrails to come. Yeah, oh, predicament hill. Yeah, that's a scary <laughs> corner to me. Like every time I turn around. I think they just got installed on Friday. Did oh, they really? No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm super all... excited. <laughs> yep. What were you doing up there? I wasn't. I got the phone call. That's the only reason I know. They said we're we're gonna be here tomorrow, and I said perfect. She's out there Friday night deer hunting. Yeah. Drifting family minivan. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. You're going to spruce us all up and present us. Yeah, I will. Make it look presentable. I will start working on the final budget for us and then make it look good. Um, Next time I'll sit over there by the computer and we'll start 
start getting some final numbers. Cool. We have other business. So in, in your little packets that I gave you, I just gave you the correspondence with Paul Gillies so you could all read what he said regarding conflict of interest. And then I also gave you the um, attorney paperwork for Cal Hemingway from his attorneys about discontinuing the trail. So my questions to you regarding those two things were, um, on next meeting, so next Tuesday, I guess, do you want to have like a discussion about the Paul Gillies conflict of interest thing, or do we not want to talk about it right now, or do we need to talk about it? Um, and then as far as the stuff with Cal Hemingway presenting the, you know, his attorney's paperwork to the town, is that a public document? Because Betsy Geiser caught wind of it and she wanted us to she wanted to get a copy of it to look at it. And, and I just don't know, since it's coming from one attorney representing Cal Hemingway, is that a public document now? Or is it just to the town? I don't want to post it online and have, you know, get in trouble for that. I would think it would be a public document. Okay. Yeah. I'll read this yeah. Uh, or Paul Gillies. And ask them. Okay. And then, and then if if it is, do we have any conflict of interest stuff that they could give us? I I can reach out to VLTC. Really? Um, Making a conflict of interest policy. I thought we had no. one. We do, but it was more of a plus. A is um, it in the personnel policy. No, it was more or less um, ethical eth ethics. What well, we just changed, but I was wondering if earlier in the personnel policy, I can't remember if there's no. a paragraph on conflict of interest. I could. And that's what I thought VLCT, you know, what I was referencing about what they were telling us that the legislature was the, as far as voting, because there's so many conflicts, but there's, you know, the, it has to rise to a, a a level where you really benefit mostly financially, I think. Yeah. Um, I thought we had one that was separate. That a policy. Conflict of, it, of interest policy. I thought we had to have one at a certain point. We had to adapt. Well, that's what I, I wonder. Yeah. Do we have it? Do you know anything, Mariah? I can look into it. I'm, I'm not sure. The conflict of interest policy we might have might have to be like, might be conflict with between offices types of things, maybe like you can't hold this yeah. office in this at their specific office. No, there's there's like a I swear like two years ago or something, time travel is so weird. That it became a law that you had to have a conflict of interest policy, like the newspapers were writing about the towns that were not in compliance. Right. They didn't this. And that's why we them. updated it, didn't we? And so I, I swear we we have one. It would have been during Jackie's time. I don't know. I'll, how. I'll look tomorrow. I'm going to be in in the morning so I can look and see if we would have it be in that little binder that said policies and I'll read through it. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I know we, and I, I know the, the league had a, I think we just took their their boilerplate. Yeah, you know, and just and yeah, we may have folded it into our personnel policy, but I anyway. don't think it's in there. in there. I don't remember ever readopting the personnel policy because of that. No, we, we did readopt. We did rewrite the personnel policy in twenty sixteen. Yeah, not that long ago. Um. But That's I don't, what we're talking about. Right, but I don't remember the conflict of interest part of it. There Prompt is, time and stuff like that. There right. is a tiny thing, I think, in there about conflict of interest being that, like, we won't use uh, businesses, I think. No, I don't even know if that's in there, because I was like, right. we can't do it in a small town, because we use Farm All Fix, which does directly benefit. benefit our select board member but he you know it's 
it's hard to go elsewhere. Right. There were a lot of things we had to kind well, of. Like, there are a ton <laughs> of conflicts. Like you're, you're writing checks out to your husband, right? Yeah, I mean, they're, 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 they're... <laughs> which is why I'm always like, everybody should audit that. Right. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So you know a few of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's another. Thing. That's a conflict. I, I, yeah, but I mean, there was a nepotism clause in the one from VLTC, and I was like, you, you can't because. Can you imagine trying not to hire a Hoyt or? <laughs> I mean, Just in this day and age, like, right. and all small towns are like this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's right. four right. of them that work for the town. I mean, we just can't, like. But like, then, you know, when Bill Chester's daughter was telling me about the mess they were having in Halifax, Vermont, down south, and it was like a select board member who was selling a piece of property to the town, and it was it was yeah. really messy. I mean, it was yeah. definitely crossed that line. Yeah, I, so I think, and I can't remember what was in the like, but I do remember we adopted something. But I think I don't think I ever read. Yeah, no, but can... but Mariah, maybe the LTC has something. Yeah. So I guess. Yeah. I'll definitely check on that, but I guess then for next meeting on Tuesday, I, I'll just hold off on adding the Cal Hemingway property trail issue or discussing the conflict of interest. And I'll just hold off until I hear back from Paul Gillies and VLTC, and then I'll add it to our January select board meeting to discuss both those things and what I hear from them. Can you put the transfer station policy on there just because I told Simon we, we would be talking about it. Sure. Is there anything else you guys want to see on there? I have the public health uh, nurse information presentation from um, Jody and then this other woman who represents like public health nurses. Um, Jody's coming back for that health order execution update signature type of thing. Um, and that was really the only two major things I had on there besides warrants and other business and road report. So I, I'm adding appropriations and I'm adding the transfer station policy. But can you think of anything else you want to talk about on Tuesday? No, the, the only thing I'm interested in is if we act on Cal Hemingway's request to uh, discontinue the legal trail on his property. How do we do that? What, what process okay. do we go through to? So you might okay. I'll ask Paul that too then. Yeah. Well, and if if we don't, <laughs> which was somewhat indicated there, then they'll take legal action. Right. So we might want to know also what that means. Right. Yeah. Right. I thought it was kind of harsh that he asked his lawyer to. I mean, I haven't read this stuff yet, but it's jumping right up all of a sudden. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. We're done. I think we're done. You're not going anywhere until she. I've had enough. Awesome. Anxious to get out of here. Well, he pays overtime. His chauffeur gets paid oh, overtime. That's it. It's all about money. Time and a half, Betsy. Yep. Time and a half. Yep. You're on time and a half. Well, will we do more budget stuff on Tuesday, or Becky, do you want to wait until the following select board meeting in January. We'll do more on Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. I, I, next Tuesday, I okay. You better come to get your, your visa card. Oh, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> so, we try to see how many 